Hi guys, this is Sean, and today we're going to do some self dip speaking answers. I'm going to do a whole test in front of you guys. I want to show you how to speak better, how to use templates and strategies that will help you score 10 plus. All these questions that I'll be answering are in my blog and the link for my blog is in the description. So please visit that so you can see what I'm answering. Now, um, the templates, I'm not going to introduce the, the templates in this video because they're already in, on my YouTube channel. You can search speaking, self speaking templates and you'll see my video uh, on my YouTube channel. So that should help. But today I want to dedicate the time to answering the question simply. The first question here is giving advice. So the first one, your friend is going to have a job interview for the first time. Advise him or her how it would be and also share your experiences with him. So it's a unique question because usually we have three things we suggest and they're only suggestions. But this question asks us to share our experiences with him. Um, so what I'm going to do is the third point, I'm going to put my experience in there and the first two points are the suggestions. Okay, so I'll get started. I'm just going to check my time here so I can do 90 seconds. All right. Hey Bob, how are you doing? I heard some exciting news that you were preparing for a job interview. That is phenomenal. It's about time you step into your professional life. Well, I'm here to help. I had a few suggestions to make. Firstly, when you go for any job interview, especially this one with such a huge name, make sure you do your research, not only for the company you're working for, but also about the recruiter. You want to make sure you're ready to answer any questions they ask you about themselves. Secondly, ensure that you look the part. Looking the part, dressing professionally communicates a sense of seriousness for the candidate and that makes half the sale. Therefore, if you can portray that you are professionally available and you, you're taking this platform seriously, you will have won half the battle. Thirdly, I want to tell you about my experience. Recently, when I interviewed with AIDS at Education, I was very intimidated by the recruiter and they will do that. Rest assured, they'll try their best to intimidate you, to put you on the spot with difficult questions that you're not ready for. However, just relax, take deep breaths. Relaxation will ensure that that doesn't affect you. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. That's it. That's speaking one. Okay, so again, if you remember our templates, we have firstly, secondly, thirdly, we have in front conclusion, and I'm using some pauses, I'm using some connectors, and wherever I get the chance, I'm trying to use some fancy words to, to, be, uh, to bring up the score, because vocab also counts. Make also a note of my expressions. I'm trying to uh, increase my voice, decrease my voice to, to make it sound more impactful. Okay, task number two, talking about a personal experience. It says, talk about your favorite travel experience. You can talk about family holiday, et cetera, et cetera, and why was it the most memorable experience? Okay, talk about a favorite travel experience. Okay, let's talk about that. Let me start. There have been many times in my life when I've had the wonderful pleasure of having vacations with my friends and family. One of these trips was when I went to Paris. Paris was my dream since I was a child, since I've always seen that in movies as well as TV shows. Finally, when in 2017 I was present at the Paris airport, I was just in a moment of shock. I was flabbergasted that this is real life. It was as if my imagination became a reality. Overall, I saw many things, the Eiffel Tower, the, the food, as well as the different culture that we don't experience in Canada. This really made my experience unique with regards to Paris. Nonetheless, the best thing about Paris were the people. They were extremely kind and benevolent. Uh, they even at restaurants, they were offering me some really good deals and I was surprised how nice those people could be. They were extremely down to earth. That is what I really admired and appreciated about my trip. That's it. So um, that's, yeah, that's, you can see we have our features. Uh, we defined the features of our topic. Then we talked about, um, at the end, we mentioned the, the unique thing, right? So we say nevertheless or however, and uh, then we mentioned this is the main thing that stood out. So that was part two.
Let's go to part three. Now this is about the picture. There's a picture here which you can see again on my blog. The link is in the description. It's a very crowded picture. Lots of people doing lots of things. Let me zoom this in. Okay, and I'll get started. All right, where's my time? Great, okay. In this picture, I can see the scene of a very busy airport belt. This is where all the passenger luggage is. However, it doesn't seem like there is enough room for everybody, as we can see a huge crowd. Towards the right-hand side, we can see a mom with her two kids waiting on their luggage. Nonetheless, even though that is very common, on the left-hand side, we have something really futuristic, which is a robot helping some people with their luggage. Towards the foreground, we can also see a family of four, mother, father, and two kids. Their kids are running around, probably creating some chaos, as well as other people around the airport walking, probably looking for their luggage or family members. That is what I can notice in this picture. I'm sorry about this one. I, I couldn't remember the time that I had. Um, I hope I finished it in a minute, but I couldn't, I couldn't track that uh, accurately as I have a digital watch here, unlike what you have in the exams. Uh, however, I hoped I communicated the message clearly how to answer this question. Let's go to question number five, which is the same picture. I'm sorry, question four, same picture, but that is predicting what's gonna happen next. Now here you just use your imagination. I'm gonna make sure I look at the time correctly. Okay, in this picture, what I think will probably happen next is the robot will tend to help more people than people helping themselves. Since this is a machine, it is designed for specifically handling passenger luggage. Therefore, I think the robot will move around and assist a lot more individuals. I also believe the family of four with the kids in the foreground will try to find a way to calm down their kids because they are in an agitated state right now. This will help them relax and not be too noisy. Moreover, there would be more people coming to the passenger belt, making it even more congested as there is a lot more luggage and comparatively lesser people. When all of this happens, there might be a queue that will be formed as a way to organize the system better. Finally, I think that big boat coming off the, that hole there will delay the other luggage coming in. That's what I believe will probably happen next. One minute exactly. Okay, so just predicting, moving around the picture and um, using your imagination. Okay, let's go to speaking part five. This is comparison and uh, persuading. So your partner wants to eat a cheeseburger. However, you want him to, this is a very easy topic. You want him to eat chicken salad, persuade him. So in this case, just to make it shorter, we have just two options, not three. Uh, so my selected option is chicken salad and my partner's is cheeseburger. So I'm, I'm uh, very health conscious. So this is gonna be a, a fun topic for me to speak on. Um, preparation time, check the price, price difference, calorie difference, and uh, vitamins are more and you have very low cancer risk. Perfect. Okay. Let's get started. One minute. Hey Mary, how are you doing? Look, I got your message. You wanted to get a cheeseburger from the food court there. However, I hope you don't forget that your cholesterol levels are really high and the doctor just recently recommended you to take less calories. If we go with the chicken salad option instead, not only will it be 190 calories lesser, but there would be abundant health benefits, especially if you look at the vitamins, you have B1, B2, and C, all of the great nutrients included in the chicken salad versus having none in the cheeseburger. Plus, you know, we have a history of family cancer. We don't wanna risk it further with eating a cheeseburger. Instead, chicken salad presents a low risk, plus it costs a little more, but who cares if you can get all those benefits, right? I hope you sincerely agree with me and we can hop onto the food court and get a healthier choice. That's it, one minute. Okay, so uh, comparison questions. A common mistake is people don't um, compare. They just talk about their points more, they ignore the other person. What you saw me doing was completely comparing the whole time, my option versus yours. This is the difference between my calories and yours, and so on, okay? All right, let's do speaking six. Um, you, you, Ryan, and Rogers are roommates, okay? Ryan, who's the youngest, has some problems with Roger. Uh, Ryan is a messy person. Roger likes the house to be clean. However, Ryan throws clothes and trash everywhere in the apartment, which makes Roger angry, okay? 
Um, I'm reading this quick because I'm assuming you are looking at this in my blog. Okay, so again, the link is in the description. You can read the whole question properly there. So let's see the two options. Talk to Ryan, explain how Roger's feeling bad about Ryan's uh, tidiness. Talk to Roger, ask Roger to bear with Ryan's ill manners as he is younger than Roger. Okay, I'm going to talk to Roger. It's easier. <clears throat> and I, I have to talk to Roger. I have to tell him that um, Ryan is young, so just uh, bear, with, bear with him. Bear with me. Okay, let me start my time. Okay. Hey Roger, how's it going? I know the answer. I understand you have been feeling pretty upset and I understand how terrible you're feeling now given the mess we have in front of ourselves. Listen, I know you were a little harsh on Ryan yesterday. Rightfully so. However, Ryan is a very young guy. At his age, people make these kinds of mistakes and we can do our part in convincing him, trying to get him on board with what we prefer as proper roommate arrangements. However, I believe it's, it's not the, the kind of mentality that he would understand at this age. On the other hand, I have more time off next week so I could help out in cleaning the house more. That will hopefully make the situation better. Hope you understand. Let me know what you think. Okay, so we got our reasoning done we got our alternative so if you remember my templates the alternative is always look i'll do this so sorry that this is the case but i have some time off so i'll do the cleaning and then our finish okay um next question is what is this one speaking of seven did we miss oh we had six and now we have seven okay people are never satisfied with what with what they have they always want something more or something different use reasons so okay Okay, that's a good topic. Um, but Okay, so I'm going to support it, and I'm going to say it's a good thing that people are never satisfied. Uh, okay, so we got 90 seconds. Let's start. My time here is starting now. Okay, so this topic presents itself as, a, as an extremely interesting concept since this is discussing the psychology and the very nature of the human mind. As homo sapiens, we firstly never are satisfied with what we want because we're always in the desire and in the race to have more, which in and of itself helps us and pushes us to achieve greater things. A businessman who is making $100,000 a year would want to grow his business to make a million dollars, and this will only help his business become better as well as improve his customer service, which benefits not only him, but everybody around him. Secondly, the, the other reason why people should not be satisfied with, with what they do is because this will not benefit the people around them. For example, if I get promoted and I make more money, I can support my family, I can give charity, I can push myself to help others in near future. Thirdly, overall, with not having satisfaction, we also have the luxury of excitement if I'm pushing myself, if I am passionate to achieve bigger and better, I would be, as, as well as others, we would be excited to achieve our passions and when the desires are fulfilled, we will have that satisfaction. That's my overall opinion and I strongly agree with it. That's it, There's, uh, one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, so again, you know, just debating, giving three points, that's the part of the template, okay. Last question is describing an unusual situation. You are in an art gallery, you see this photo, this dog photo, you'll see that in my blog, please go there. You can subscribe to the blog too, so you can see all the uh, fancy tips and all the pictures and text that I usually don't write on YouTube, I write it down there. Uh, vocab lessons, by the way, I write it down there as well. So a blog is really useful. You can subscribe there if you would like. Okay, so you're in the art gallery, you see this unusual uh, painting and uh, Phone your art teacher, describe the painting as well as you can, and ask him about its meaning. Okay, ask him about its meaning. That's the last thing we're going to do. That's part of the conclusion. All right, so hi, Miss Mary. I wanted to really call you, and I apologize if this is a bad time. However, I was extremely excited to, d to discuss this amazing piece of art that is in front of me. If I go on the surface, it's not much. It's just a dog sitting on a sofa. However, the lighting, the background, the contrast is amazing. It's a mixture of dark colors on the outline and lighter colors towards the center of the picture. 
The sofa in itself is a life. There are two eyes on the sides of the sofa, which are usually the armrest. The middle part, which has two cushions as it is a two-seater, those two cushions are smiling. It's strange to explain, but as you can imagine, a smiling sofa is hard to picture. Uh, amazingly, I'm standing in front of this picture. Therefore, I find this to be very unique. I just wanted to ask you what it means. It probably will help me to do my assignment. Please let me know. Thank you very much. That's it, one minute. Okay, so that's it. That is the end, end of our speaking. Um, what I overall used was our templates. So please make sure you go back to the video if you haven't seen it already. And if you haven't seen it at all, go to that video uh, in my channel that talks about self speaking templates. Uh, listen to that and then uh, listen to this video again. It'll make a lot of sense because I'm using those templates that we usually, uh, that, that I always use in, in our structure. And I made sure that I'm fluctuating my voice. You guys would have heard me get loud and then get slow. Uh, that was part of the plan because expressions have voice. Uh, then you, I, I was trying wherever I could to use complex sentences, vocab, and I used a lot of connectors. There were so many more overs, therefore, hence, and, and all those connectors. So that also helped my speaking. Um, and that's it. Plus, I didn't cheat. This, this whole thing, I'm reading all of this for the first time. In fact, while I'm uploading this video, it takes a few minutes. At that time, I'm going to move these pictures to my blog and it's going to be ready before the video is uploaded. Uh, but I just wanted to tell you this because I don't want people to say that I've practiced this and memorized this. There was nothing memorized. The only thing that I memorize is the template. If I have the templates, I can do a proper uh, speaking at any point with any test and I'm going to sound like I'm reading from a book. Uh, so I hope that helps you out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, there have been some emails on materials and um, if you guys remember my i think my second or third last video if you go back there you will see where you can find all my materials i think the video is titled where you can find my materials so please refer to that everything is there but i'm doing my best to respond to your emails and comments as well thank you as always guys please subscribe subscribe if you found this valuable and turn on your notifications for more content until next time take care